We present a method for accelerating a broad class of nonlinear filters, including the bilateral, nonlocal means, and a novel nonlocal means applied to geometry. These filters can all be described with this equation, which we accelerate using a novel important sampled Gaussian KD tree. Each homogeneous value, vi, is replaced by a weighted sum of all other values, vj. Each value is associated with a position pi in some other space. The weights are determined by a Gaussian function of the distance between two positions. If the values are pixel colors, and we set the positions to be xy locations, then this equation expresses a Gaussian blur. If we instead set the positions to be five-dimensional xy RGB vectors, this expresses a bilateral filter, which mixes pixels according to their distance in both space and color. Consider this image of a rooftop. Existing methods for accelerating the bilateral filter usually preserve distance in luminance only, which can result in color bleeding across chrominance boundaries. Alternatively, they filter each channel independently, which results in unwanted changes in color and saturation. Our method respects full 3D color distance and produces a smooth result true to the colors of the input. Here's another example. Other existing methods that respect full 3D color distance either become intractably slow for large filter sizes or use a prohibitive amount of memory and time for small filter sizes. Our algorithm's runtime is independent of the filter size and is log linear in the number of pixels. If we return to our equation and instead set the position vectors to be windows around their respective pixels, then we mix pixels with other pixels that have similar local neighborhoods. This is non-local means, which our Gaussian KD tree accelerates. Here we apply non-local means to a noisy burst of images acquired with a Casio EXF1 at maximum ISO. Our position vectors are 21 by 21 pixel patches from the input volume, reduced using PCA to 16 dimensions. Our algorithm's runtime and memory use both scale linearly with dimension. Here is the input and output side by side. We can also use three-dimensional neighborhoods. Here we denoise a volume dataset of a bacteria acquired using cryo-electron tomography. We use 5 by 5 by 5 voxel subvolumes reduced with PCA to 16 dimensions. For n pixels and d dimensions, naive non-local means takes d times n squared time, so filtering data of this size is usually performed on a cluster and takes hours. Our computational complexity is d times n log n, so we compute this result on a desktop machine at a rate of about 1 megapixel per minute. Here is the absolute difference between the input and the output showing that what non-local means removes is almost exclusively noise. Our method requires no particular structure to the positions and values, so we also apply it to denoising geometry using a novel adaptation of non-local means. Consider this dragon mesh whose vertex positions are corrupted with Gaussian noise. We first apply Laplacian smoothing to the input mesh. The result is smooth, but some features such as the scales of the dragon are lost. We call this the base mesh. Next we compute the difference between the base mesh and the original noisy input. The resulting set of vectors is the noisy detail layer. Here we visualize the sign distance from each vertex of the base mesh to its counterpart on the input. Our values are now the detail vectors, expressed in a local canonical coordinate system so that they can be meaningfully averaged across the model. Our positions can be any local feature descriptor. We use spin images. We then apply our algorithm. The denoise detail vectors are added to the vertex positions of the base mesh, producing the final result, which is smooth, but contains more detail than the base mesh. Here is another example of a noisy model of a carved box. The base layer is smooth, but detail has been lost. Applying non-local means denoises the model while preserving sharp edges and detail in the carvings. Our Gaussian KD tree is a high-speed, low-memory way to compute a variety of nonlinear filters. It is a general method which we have applied to three particular applications in this video.